Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be working with a wig from Amazon from a company called Lycoville or Lycoville. I'm going to leave the information down below. But yes, I ordered a 613 wig in the inch 18. Um, this hairline is extremely, extremely full. Some of the reviews said that it was pre-plucked. I don't know where they got that from, but yes, this hairline is pretty, pretty full. And the company put some type of fabric that I'm going to show in just a second on top of the lace, which I really didn't like that because it only left like a little bit of lace in the very, very front. So you can't really adjust this wig to your hairline at all. I had to do a lot of finesse to this wig, like a lot. Since I'll be coloring this wig, I'm going to go ahead and prep the lace. I'm using um, Got To Be Gel and the Got To Be Free Spray to seal it in so that no color will get on the lace. This is my first time um, doing this method. I usually, I usually just um, watercolor the back and just hand dye the front of the lace because I just always been scared of getting color on the lace. So this time I said I was gonna try it. Some of the colors still got on the lace, but it wasn't that bad. I was still able to work with it. The color that I used was from a door and I used indigo blue. I had three bottles of that and then I had one bottle of Royal Navy. And I just used really hot water in my sink um, just because I can just use bleach cleaner and it'll come right out. It's much easier for me rather than using a bucket. And yeah, I just mixed it all up and I dipped the wig in and went for it. plucking to well no a lot of plucking to get this lace looking a little bit more natural because like I said it was extremely 
extremely full. Right now I'm just sectioning out the section since I'm going to be doing the half up half down hairstyle. I'm just gonna section out the parts around my ear and cut them off and then I'm gonna apply two layers of glue because I'm not gonna leave this wig on that long
fabric piece again just to get give you a better idea of what it, it looks like and as you can see there's not much lace in front of that fabric right there so that kind of makes it a little difficult to work with I really had to finesse this as you can see it looks so bad but I put my touches on it and the end result was okay but I would not purchase this wig again and I really truly don't recommend getting this unless you really know how to work with wigs.
this is the end result. I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.